Hey Carl, this is Ray. I just wanted to make this video for you so that you can see uh, the various options for the cameras, but for sure this is the right camera for this one. You're, this is a 20 megapixel 180 aircon vision surround video. Uh, you get 180 degree coverage. Um, let me just show you the color visualization zone here. So anything red or like this pink color here and very close to the camera sensor you can identify people unknown to you you can see license plates obviously you're not looking to get license plates on the sidewalk but uh, you know you can definitely identify people as they're walking into this uh, main walkway here and then um, this one right here the yellow I mean there, I guess there's a little bit of orange there's some orange but yeah, right there, there's orange. Right here, there's orange. So, orange, it starts to get a little bit pixelated, but you can still identify people unknown to you. It's not, it's just not as clear as the red. Um, yellow, you can identify people, uh, I would say, that are known to you here. Um, to, to identify someone who's not known to you might be difficult. Uh, and then the green is when it starts getting pixelated quite a bit and um, license plates are obviously not very clear uh, you might be able to make out certain details but don't count on much uh, and then anything beyond that in the green in the light green or the blue it's like the equivalent to non HD basically you can make out uh, you know cars uh, trucks you know you you can see very clearly the uh, type of vehicle, the color, you know, the movement around the uh, area, but don't expect to you know count the number of people inside the car. I'm actually going to show you a sample image of an eight megapixel aircon vision surround video camera in a large parking lot. I don't know if I showed this to you a couple of years ago, but uh, basically, uh, I, I just want you to see the daytime and nighttime version of this camera. Let's see, give me one second here. So, 8 megapixel. So, you know, like it, even at even at the far end of the parking lot, you can see like that's a white or possibly a silver looks like a Ford F-150 uh, that's some kind of minivan that I can't see because it's blocked but that looks like it might be uh, I'm not really sure about that one <laughs> uh, but that's pretty far away as you can see um, that's another Ford pickup truck extended cab um, and, and you can kind of get the idea here um, so yeah you you can see people walking around you can see cars driving you can make out makes and models you just can't really get like it's not meant for like detailed surveillance uh, and then the nighttime image so I mean there's you said you have lights in the lot this is what you can expect if you have lights in the lot So now for the PTZs, um, I have a camera that might be really good for you here. It is Acti ACTI. We uh, I mentioned this brand on the phone because they have this OZT technology. Now you're not really going to be using the OZT, but this camera does have auto tracking, and it has a really long distance zoom and it has the distance of infrared that you need with true WDR SLL, SLLS it stands for superior low light something but basically it works really well in uh, even in uh, in color at nighttime without infrared so um, it, I mean it depends on how many depends on like the actual movement of the object that you're looking at if it's moving then it's gonna be better with infrared but you can tweak that within the camera itself 
two-way audio. I don't really know if you care about that. Um, analytics as well, and obviously the heater, which you would need for your colder climate there. Um, good features. I think this is your best bet. I can it it's you know the retail cost the retail prices is is, uh, is high but I can definitely get you a deal on on these cameras. I work really closely with this brand. Um, so this with this particular camera, that's the horizontal viewing angle, and you can get as wide as seventy degrees. So for camera number one here, if we were looking at 70 degrees at 1080p, oh sorry, that's the millimeters. This is the angle. And obviously we're not going to look that wide because we want to look far. So something around this angle, you know, you could technically see even in, in nighttime, 160 meters, this is about 130 feet. Uh, so I think we have, I believe it's, let me just double check. I think it's around three point something. So let's just double check here. Meters to feet. So 524. So yeah, we're we have plenty of coverage here with with these. We could technically go out with you know to around this far uh, in infrared distance, but you I would think that you want to get some detail in this area. So you would reduce the angle probably to around this, so that you can get good coverage higher density, pixel density, uh, over here in this area. Um, and like I said, you can just leave it on auto tracking mode. That way anytime there's movement here, it just like zooms to that area, follows the, the, the traffic, and then it stops. And then it returns back to the home position. So you can just have this be the home position, for example. And then anytime movement's detected, it will just follow the movement. Or you can disable auto tracking, or we can look at a different camera if that's what you want to do. But I think this is probably your best bet. Um, let's see. Other than that, oh, I guess there's a video on that page. Give me one second. Internet Explorer. Too many things open on my computer here. Let's see, the i98, let's just check it out on YouTube. Well, this is the auto tracking example. So basically it's just gonna move with the moving object. And it's just going to follow it. So if you did want to leave it to a wide angle in the home position, it could be useful, but not really necessary. It just really depends on what you want it to do. Um, and then I don't know about these <laughs> mannequin challenge people, but I think this is probably a good. Uh, I haven't seen this video yet, but a seaport is an ideal example because you can zoom in and really see some details. This is at nighttime, so you can kind of see what I'm talking about in terms of color at night with that SLLS feature. And uh, that's a pretty, I mean, you do have a little bit of noise once you're zoomed in this far at night, but you can get some pretty good details. And this camera is probably zooming in. How far away? I don't know. It's got to be at least at least 500 feet. Yeah, there's a 7-Eleven on practically every corner in Hong Kong. Last time I was there. But if we zoom out, yeah, 
that's uh that's an I don't know that's I would say maybe that's even closer to a thousand feet but yeah that's that's a really good camera for daytime and nighttime um, here this is the daytime option for this video so this is doing it looks like the auto tracking feature let's just kind of fast forward through this here I guess that's all it shows you the auto tracking of this let's see if there's a daytime view well I know they might have some uh, videos on the ACTI website as well they this is a company that's in Taiwan so in theory it's better quality than Dawa because Dawa is made in China yeah those are the same videos so um, let me yeah it's it's on Biff it should work I mean I can have their engineers put it online so we can test it with our milestone system um, but yeah everything should work with milestone uh, so yeah I'll uh, let me show you the other camera as well so this one we we mentioned that if we go tighter or wider angle this is the pixel density that you can expect to see depending on wherever your shed is installed and this one over here from this corner your current your, your old shed was right over here and your new your the one over here on the bottom I don't know which one got moved but I would maybe install this camera like higher up so that you can see over the shed lower if you want to see more details so maybe like around 12 feet high and this is the level of pixel density you can see at this angle um, you can also oops you can also go here let's do it a little bit longer get tighter to get more details you can kind of get an idea of you know the level of detail here or zoom out you're still in the yellow on the further shed and uh, you can see that there. So I will get a quote for these items, and um, this is well within your range of infrared. Uh, if we were to go with an Aircon 10 megapixel, you would be able to use a better angle, like you could use a wider angle and get the same level of. Uh, details with that wider angle you wouldn't have to have a trade-off here but you know you would have to buy an external infrared illuminator to get 500 or 450 feet away um, and that by itself is probably going to be that with the with the aircon camera is going to be more expensive than the PTZ I think the PTZ is a better bet for you because it's more flexible and you can you know if you guys move this building again or anything else in the future or if you cut down some more trees over here then you can use a wider angle on that PTZ and still get a long distance infrared with coverage during the daytime and nighttime hope this helps